Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the easiest, most basic test on your lithium ion battery. In this case, uh, it will be focused around this Makita LXT 5 ampere specifically. So, what you need for this test is a multimeter. The one I have here is quite a decent one, but you can use even the most basic model for this test. The first test doesn't involve opening the battery. Uh, it's just an overall voltage test where it's putting out the top to your tool. And a healthy voltage for an 18 volt or 20 volt battery would be between 17 volts and just over 20 volts roughly speaking. And the variance between 17 and a half and 20 odd would be dependent upon the level of charge in the battery at the time. So to begin, we get the multimeter, like so. See if we can see it. Be in a good position, hopefully, for you. You switch it on to voltage, like that. And you make sure that it's at DC voltage. Not AC voltage, because that's house voltage. But DC voltage. You see AC, DC. DC is direct current, you know, or battery voltage. So like I said, we have to test the overall voltage coming out of the battery you put the red probe into the plus you see there's a plus all batteries have this a plus and a minus and the black into the minus and as I said earlier we were looking for a voltage between 17 and 20 we're getting nowhere near that we're getting 2 volts and it's dropping which is very very weird so to go further and find out what's going on with this battery, we're going to have to get inside. So to give you a bit of context, I'm going to bring in another battery, an actual good Makita battery that's not faulty, and that'll give you an idea what the voltage should be. Let me get that in there. There we are. And we're showing 17.37 volts. So that's a good. It's low, but it's it's a good chargeable voltage range. So that's what your battery should be. So to find out why the other one's not achieving anything or nowhere near it, we're going to have to get it open. We're focusing on Makita batteries. I must explain something. I've already tested this, by the way. That's why I've labelled it. But anyway, there's a, a white security tab that goes down one of these holes. I think it's this one. And to remove that, I put a wood screen to it and pulled it out with a pair of pliers. This is a tamper-proof tab that uh, Makita put in all their batteries. And underneath, you'll see a T10 Torx. And we have to remove four of them to get this battery open. So we'll just do that now. This is test two once we get this open. You can pop the top off now. Them screws. Anyhow. So to go further than this, I do recommend that you put on gloves because you got to be safe when working with these batteries. I take a few chances on my channel, to be honest, to be a regular watcher, but I'm not asking you to do so. So we took this out of the pack. The casing's broke a little bit, but we'll worry about that later. Took this out of the pack. You have the 10, bank, 10 cells, or 5 banks of 2, which makes up 10 cells. And the cells are t put together like this. These are the, this is the plus end and this is the minus end, so the two plus and minus are joined together like that. And then you can see there's another part there. And that'll be joined on two of these from minus to plus. And then going from plus to minus in series. So the two, the bank of cells is put together in parallel like that. And then it, they're connected to the other banks in series 
like I described. The safety aspect, um, you can cross connect some of these banks of cells. That's why there's tape here on these to prevent that happening. If you get a cross connection there, you'll get a weld or a spark, you know. You could actually, if you're wearing a ring, you could actually weld yourself to the battery or you're working on a metal bench and you left it like that or probably weld itself to the bench. So you have to be safe. Always working like a wooden bench with these batteries. And try and wear gloves if you can. On to the second part of the test again. Again, the multimeter must be at DC voltage again. And we will be testing these five banks of cells individually and I'm going to put a little label in the bottom and I'm going to write on what the voltage of each one is. As stated I've put um, nice little labels on for us to record the voltage after we test it with a multimeter. To do this test you must understand what healthy voltage is across the pack, what it actually means. Um, and each bank, each bank of two cells Healthy voltage would vary between 3.5 and 4.2 and this will add up to your overall voltage if they're healthy. And again, the reason for the variance between 3.5 and 4.2 that's the level of charge that the cells currently have on them. And that varies between fully charged and fully discharged. Also, balance is very important. It's very important for the, the cells to be very, the banks of cells to be very close and voltage to each other across the pack. So here we go, second part of the test, individual cell test. If we go from one side to the other, it's important to know what pl side plus is and what side minus is, so we're going from plus to minus there in the cells, and that's giving us 3.84 in that first bank. So just writing that on. And again, because they're wired in series, this is the plus side in the second bank, and this is the minus, so we're getting 3.84 again, so that's equal. So that's very good, that second bank. And the reason why I'm so particular to go from plus to minus is... If, you, if I do it the opposite way around and you get a negative voltage, you get the same voltage. You'll get the same voltage if you me measure plus and minus on the wrong side, but you get it as a negative value. And if you have a particularly bad bank of cells, they can reverse polarity. So it tells you what's going on if you're, if you're doing it the right way around. So again, the right way around here is not that. So we're going from plus to minus here, plus to minus here, the other way around, which was 3.84 if you remember correctly, and plus to minus here in the third bank will be, let's see when she levels up, will she come up to 3.84, 3. that's very close. 3.8, 3 3.8, 3 so that's very, very, very close. It's a very fractional difference there. And the fourth bank of cells, again, get the polarity right, get underneath this insulation, like we've been doing. And what do we see? She levels up here. She stops rising. 3.836. So that's fractionally close as well. So far, you could consider this a very well balanced pack. That's that's close enough. But I consider that as good as perfect, you know. From the last bank of cells. Again, getting the polarity right, we'll hold that on, and we're getting 0 0.45 of a volt, so not even half a volt, so that's 0 0.45 of a volt, 
0.45 of a volt so it's clear to see that this this bank of cells these two cells are problematic and need changing if we're going to repair that pack that's the two tests you can do with the multimeter to establish what is wrong with your battery or how well balanced it is across the pack so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos